Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about inflammatory bowel disease and nine natural tips for IBD and what you can do naturally to really help yourself or share this information with someone who is suffering with inflammatory bowel disease to help them on their journey and of course doing things naturally, which is what I'm all about. So stay tuned right until the end because that's gonna be something that you probably haven't heard as it's related to the mind-body connection and and dealing with IBD naturally. Okay, so let's get right into it. Tip number one is to decrease inflammation in the body and doing this by connecting with the earth and doing something called earthing or grounding. So this is something I've discussed in other videos before. Basically, it's going barefoot out onto the grass, onto the earth, onto sand or the ground and connecting with the earth's electrons. And ideally doing this for about 20 minutes or longer is fantastic especially if you can do this first thing in the day while you're looking at the sunrise is ideal but bringing up those earth's electrons into your body really has a natural anti-inflammatory effect for your entire being helping to quench and get rid of that free radical damage that we inundate our bodies with from all of those emfs that we're exposed to on a daily basis and of course decreasing that your exposure to the emfs as well Tip number two is to fix your microbiome. So definitely if there's been a history of antibiotic use, that's very much related often to IBD, but also ensuring that you're getting enough probiotics. So putting those good guys back into the digestive tract is really important to offset some of those negative organisms and parasites and candida, which can be related to IBD as we know, but also you know making sure that it's a high quality probiotic. So whether that's from foods, from sauerkraut, kimchi, and all of the, the great probiotic kombucha, which I love as well, probiotic foods and drinks, or making sure that you're taking a high quality probiotic supplement can be very helpful for reversing the IBD. Tip number three is to decrease the inflammatory fats in your diet. So definitely the PUFAs, you want to get rid of those. So whether that is the corn oil, the safflower oil, the sunflower oil, canola oil, my least favorite, and margarine. So all of those, you know, polyunsaturated fats that are very, very inflammatory to the body and to the gut, you want to get rid of those. Now tip number four is to increase your healthy omega-3 fats. So of course, fish oil and DHA is my favorite and whether you're getting it from small fatty fish or of course you're taking it from a fish oil supplement a high quality pharmaceutical grade fish oil supplement that's definitely something that you can do to really improve that inflammatory status in your body we'll share some links below to help to point you in the right direction for a great supplement there tip number five is to increase some more healthy fats so these would be coconut oil and olive oil so from vegetarian sources, these are great, again, as very soothing fats, especially coconut oil is very soothing to the digestive tract and has that natural anti-inflammatory effect as well. Tip number six is to decrease your stress. So we know that stress and the gut are very much correlated based on the functioning of our vagus nerve and definitely doing meditation and breathing exercises can be really helpful for decreasing that overall stress in your body. Check out my other meditation videos that I have here on YouTube and we've got them for a variety of different conditions. Anything that you can do to relax your nervous system and relax that sympathetic overdrive in your autonomic nervous system will go a long way to helping you to decrease that overall inflammation in your body and we've got a bunch of those videos that you're going to use ideally some headphones a headset that's wired again decreasing those EMFs you don't want to have too much EMF exposure but listening to those binaural beats especially are very healing to the body and can really go a long way at helping you on your health journey Tip number seven is to use marshmallow root tea. So this is called althea and is very soothing to the digestive tract. So it's known as, as a demulcent herb, which means that it has that protective coating effect on the digestive tract, which is really goes a long way when you've got some inflammation happening in the gut. 
Tip number eight is to use a castor oil pack. So please check out my other video on how to do the castor oil pack. I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. So using it on the abdomen, especially where you have that pain and inflammation can be really helpful for your inflammatory bowel disease, helps to relax the nervous system as well, and helps as a gentle detox. Again, you're, you're applying the castor oil topically, so you're not ingesting it, really has that soothing effect on your internal organs. So make sure you check out that video. And tip number nine, which is my favorite tip, and it's all about that mind-body connection. And time and time again with my patients over the years, I've always found a connection with any type of inflammation in the gut and from the mental emotional aspect, not being able to swallow or digest what's happening and going on in your life so making that connection goes a long way with really healing that whether it's the symptoms of IBD with the gas the bloating the digestive distress that inflammation in the gut just think about that for a second what are you or someone who's suffering with this what are they not able to digest and absorb and swallow based on what's happening in their environment and once you solve that question and you solve that and you find resolve around that mental emotional aspect and maybe it has to do with you know changing location changing relationships changing you know getting out of some of that negativity that is having that impact and and really having that positive impact on your own health and tuning into that that you can let that go and have resolve that's when the gut will actually heal so there you have it, my nine natural tips on dealing with IBD, naturally inflammatory bowel disease. I hope that you've learned something new. I hope that I was able to shed some light in this video. Please give me your feedback and your comments. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below and share this video with your friends, with people that you know will definitely be able to benefit from this information. And please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your great feedback that you give me. I love all those thumbs up. They make me feel so good. And also, if you're new here, welcome into my channel. Make sure that you are subscribed and that you click that bell and to turn on all of those post notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.